Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Planka on CostOS using Beaver CostOS, a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, pl a Planka. It's a um, real-time Kanban board for work groups built with React and Redux. And if you go into the website, you, you'll see a good video of it. And it, it kind of resembles um, tre Trello. And um, so if we go into stars again, go back to the GitHub repo. Now, now we can see the video as well. You can see the features right here. And we'll be deploying it on Casa OS uh, using Big Bear Casa OS. So... That's a bit about what we will be installing today. So this app was requested by M Believer um, on Big Bear Community. Um, he requested me add a Planka to Big Bear Cost OS, so I did that. Um, so if you have an app that uh, you want to see in Big Bear Cost OS, pl please suggest it in Big Bear Cost OS and then Big Bear Cost OS suggestions, the categories on Big Bear Community. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cross OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description in the useful link section. Um, so uh, this is a third-party app store for Cross OS that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. And I try to keep it update as much as possible. Um, so these are all the apps that are currently in the, uh, the app store. And I did make a how to install Big Bear Cross OS on Cross OS video, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. So, the custom app store is only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So, I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. And then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get the App Store set up. So, I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then more apps over here. A text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over from Big Bear Cost OS. And then I'm going to press add. And now we have 179 apps available. So um, you won't be able to see the category yet. So I'm going to refresh the page, go back into the app store, and then uh, you'll see Beaver Cost OS. So, so you can click it. And now you can see all the apps that are available to install from Big Bear Cost OS. So we got it set up. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. It's in the useful link section. And then, um, so I'm going to go over to search and type Planka. And then now I'm going to go into the folder and then go to the Docker Compose. So the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear Planka. And then I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Planka. And then the container name is going to be set to Big Bear Planka because it's going to give a name to the container. And Docker's not going to have to generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of GitHub, um, uh, the GitHub uh, 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 registry. And then it's going to be Docker image right here. And then the Docker image tag. Um, restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes to be, to, to be mounted are three of them. So data, app data, dynamic variable of the app ID, and that's gotten from the name up here, and a user avatars. So on the container side is app public user avatars, and then on the host side is the left side, and then on the right side is the container side. So um, data, app data, dynamic variable, and then project background images, that's on the host side, and then on the container side is app public project background images and then do not change anything to do with the container side at all and then data app data dynamic variable the the app id and then attachments and then on the container side is app private attachments so now we're going to have to map a port so we can get into this container 
So 3000 on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, uh, Cost OS will let you know and you can change it, but you will need to change the web UI as well. Um, 1337 on the container side. Do not change the container port, only the host port. So environment variables right here. And uh, the base URL, we will need to set your Cost OS LAN IP right here. Um, now the database a URL, so um, it's going to be Postgres, and then the secret key. Uh, we will need to generate a, sing a secret key, and then the default admin email, password, name, and username. So uh, these are the default credentials on the initial setup, and um, this uh, this service right here, this container will be uh, storing data on the Big Bear. Uh, plank of Postgres down here and um, you can see that it's connecting to it through here the database URL and the Big Bear Planka Postgres is the service name down there so um, now I'm gonna set a network so Big Bear Planka network and then this does depend on Big Bear Planka Postgres in the service to be healthy the cost was specific information to explain the volumes and the ports. So now we're in the Big Bear Planka Postgres right underneath the services. So um, the image, the po uh, po Postgres is the Docker image. This is coming off Docker Hub because there's no year before this. 14 Alpine, that's the tag. So restart on failure. So that means if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if any other reason, then it won't. And then volumes to be uh, to be mounted. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which has gotten for the name up there, and then PostgreSQL. This is on the host side, and then on the container side is var lib PostgreSQL data. Like I said, do not change the cont container side at all. Environment variables. So we're going to set Postgres a DB, the first uh, da a database to be created is Planka. And then we're going to set Postgres a host auth method to trust. So it doesn't need a password. So um, now we're going to put it in the Big Bear Planka network. And that's defined down here. It's a bridge network. And then the health check configuration. And um, so if we do not put it uh, in, in its own network and put this one in its own network as well, right here then the postgres ql uh this service right here wouldn't be able to connect to the database service down here with the ser a service name so cause to specific for information to explain the metadata and the configurations so the architectures that the docker image supports up here is amd64 and arm64 and the main is set to big bear planka and that's set to the service name up here of Big Bear Pl Planka. And then um, the description, the tagline, the developer, the author of the Docker Compose, and the icon being used, thumbnail is empty, the a title, the category, so people can find the Big Bear Cost OS apps by clicking that category up uh, uh, in the left side when, when you're on the app store. And then the port map is 3000, and that rhymes with the host port up here in this service right here. So um, now uh, the, uh, the tips, so, so it's going to let you know to um, uh, read the documentation down here before you try to install it. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Post. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to search for Plank. So, so, now you can see it right here. So, now you can see it's from Big Bear Cost OS because it's category down here. So, I'm going to go into it, and then I'm going to install and um, you, you can read the doc documentation uh, too, right here. So I'm going to go, go to next steps and then continue in background. So this can take a little bit. 
Uh, this is downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. And um, it's also setting up the network and the volumes. So now you can see that the container is unhealthy. So we will need to uh, change the settings and get this healthy. So now if we start on our documentation that you get the link when you press install and um, then it'll come up with the tips before you install and then you click the next steps. If you go to that link, then you'll get here. Um, I'll also have it down in the YouTube description. Um, so the documentation down here, the, de the default credentials are a username, a demo, and then password demo. And then uh, we're, we're gonna need to change our base URL and um, you can update the default credentials, but these will not work anymore. You'll have to use your credentials that you changed. So um, now we will also need to generate a secret key. So um, then we'll need to use OpenSSL and then RAN and then hex and then 64. So I'm gonna copy this. So um, now we should be able to get this working. So now we're gonna have to uh, set up our base URL. Um, so I'm gonna go up these vertical dots, go to settings, and then I'm gonna scroll down to your cost OS LEN IP address here. So I'm going to um, take that out. And now I'm gonna paste in my LEN IP for my cost OS. So um, now you can save. and then it'll reload the container. So now we can see that Planka is okay. So we got it uh, ch changed on that setting. So, so the next setting, if we go up these vertical dots and go to settings, now we're gonna need to generate our secret, uh, secret key. So I'm going to SSH into my Cost OS uh, server and then I'm gonna run that and get the secret key. And then I'm gonna come over here and paste it in here. So now I'm SSH'd into my Cost OS and I'm going to run the OpenSSL um, co a command. I showed you it the uh, video before last in the Big Bear community. Um, and they'll also be linked down in the YouTube description for it. Um, so now I'm going to paste it in. So OpenSSL ran hex 64. So 64 bytes. And that's really 512 bits. So I'm going to go ahead and um, run this. So now it's going to generate this uh, a key. So I'm going to uh, uh, copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my cost OS and put it in the secret key. So now I'm going to put the secret key in. So I'm going to go up to the vertical dots and go to settings. And then I'm going to scroll down to secret key right here. And I'm going to replace this not secret key with the uh, value that we got over uh, when we SSH'd in and ran the open the SSL command. So now once we do that, we're going to press save. And the container is going to reload, uh, reload and deploy again with the new uh, updated environment variables. So this can take a little bit. So now Planka is okay. So it's reloaded and it should be good to go. So now I'm going to go over the container options in Casa OS. So if you go over here to the vertical dots, uh, you can open any of the web UI. You can set some tips, and a tip's already been set, and this is the link to get to the documentation. So if you go down here, edit button, and you just type in here, it's kind of like a notepad, and then you can press the save button right here, and it'll reload the container, and then say Planka is okay. Um, you can go into settings and you can edit some settings down here and then press the save button. You can also uh, ch change the containers too. Um, you can go, go over here to terminal logs and you can get into the container. You can also see the logs right here. And um, if you notice that these files right here, if you go and change to Postgres, then you go back in the terminal and you'll see different uh, folders right here because now we're in the Big Bear Planka Postgres instead of the Big Bear Pl Planka. So um, that's a little bit, uh, a little tip. So um, you can export the Docker Compose right here and um, you can X out of here and then you can check for updates uh, from the Big Bear Cost OS App Store and then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. 
So now I'm going to show you where the files are located. So if you go in the files app, and this is a great feature of Cost OS, it has this uh, fi files app, and then you can go in the app data, and then you can see Big Bear Plank right here. So, so you can check mark, and you can download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. And then you can also go into here and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. You can go in here further, and you can look at the fi uh, files that are in there. And um, you can look at each one. So that's a little bit about to where your files are located. So now I'm going to go into the UI and show you it works. So you can open it from here, or you can open it from here. Um, I'm going to go in the settings before we do that and scroll down to the environment variables. And as long as you didn't change the default admin username and the default password, it should be demo demo. If you did change it, then you will use whatever you changed the demo uh, with. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of here. Then I'm going to go into the UI. So I'm going to put a username as demo and the password is demo. And then I'm going to log in. So now you can create your first project. So first project. And then now we have our first project. So now we need to create our first board up here. So first board. And then now we can create a list. And then we can also create cards underneath the list. And you can see that you can add tasks, a description, actions, a members, labels, due date, stopwatch, attachments, subscribe, move, delete. You can also add another list and then a third list. And then you can also move this card between the lists. And then you can actually add another card underneath here. So you can do the same thing in this one. You can add another board as well up here and uh, other members and the labels and you can see who's in it right here. Um, you can go over here and you can see the users. So, so you can add a new user. You can also see the notifications when you have some. You can go up here to settings and you can see the name, phone number, organization, and uh, the language. And then uh, preferences, scribe your own cards by default. You can see about Planka and we're using 116.0. Um, so if you go out of there, you can create another project. So that's a little bit about Planka's UI. So I just went over start to finish on getting Planka working on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.